Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is AP Physics Essentials. Video 92, it's on Kirchhoff's junction rule, which when used with Kirchhoff's loop rule can solve very complex circuit problems. And so it's very simple. It just says the current that we have coming into a junction, so for example, if this is a junction, the current of I2 plus I3 has to equal the current coming out of the junction. It's an application of the conservation of charge in physics. Or if we were to use a pipe and water analogy, the flow coming into a junction has to equal the flow coming out. But the flow could be in this direction or the flow could be in this direction. The sum of the flows coming in has to equal the sum of the flows coming out. And so the Kirchhoff's junction rule is an application of the conservation of charge. And so in physics one you should be able to solve a simple circuit and the current in has to equal the current out. So that would be a simple circuit in parallel or series that has a battery and some resistors. As you move into physics two, you have to be able to add um, capacitors in steady state to that understanding of Kirchhoff's junction rule. And so Kirchhoff's junction rule, again, application of conservation of charge, it's written like this, the sum of the currents in has to equal the sum of the currents coming out. And so if we were to solve a simple problem, if we've got this junction right here and I were to give you the currents I1 and I2, how would you set this up? Well, first of all, we figure out what's going in, what's coming out, we can use the arrows for that. So I1 is coming into the junction. What's well, coming out? I2 plus I3. So we set it up like this. I1 equals I2 plus I3. And then I just write in what I know. I know seven amps and three amps. And so I can solve for I3 being four amps coming out of the junction. We can even get very complicated problems like this. And so you may wanna pause the video and try to solve this. I'm giving you three currents and then you have to solve for the one that you don't know. So first of all, write it out. What's the current coming in? I would say it's gonna be I1 and I4. What's coming out? I2, I3, and I5. Write in what you know, and then you can solve for what you don't know. In this case, I5 should be equal to three amps. And so you should be able to experiment with this as well. So I'm using a PHET simulation, a circuit builder. So I've built a nine volt circuit. This would be a parallel circuit with a 10 and 20 ohm resistor. I can use an ammeter to show that it's 1.35 amps into the junction. One of those coming out is 0.9 amps. And so could you figure out what's the other current coming out of that um, junction? Well, it's simply Kirchhoff's junction rule. It's gonna be 0.45 amps. The sum coming in has to equal the sum that's coming out. You also should be able to solve that if we have a circuit diagram like this. Generally on a circuit diagram, and these are gonna get complex when you have multiple batteries, what you do is draw the current going away from the positive side of the battery. So I'd have this I1 going in this direction. We could also show I3 going away from the battery here. And then I could say, all right, so here's my junction. And so we're gonna have I2 coming out. And then if you know any of the values in it, so if I know any of the current, then I can simply solve for the one that I don't know. Now, lots of times you can also use Kirchhoff's loop rule in concert with this to solve more complex problems, but I should get an I2 value, or rather an I3 value of nine amps. As you move into physics two, you should be able to understand what's going on with capacitors at steady state. So I've got a simple parallel circuit right here, two 10 ohm resistors, nine volt battery. I could use an ammeter. We got 1.0 amps coming in. One junction is 0.9, the other one's gonna be 0.9 as well. I'm now gonna turn on the electron so you can see what's going on. Remember the charge moves in the opposite direction to that. I'm gonna remove one of those resistors and then put in a capacitor. Watch what happens when I add the capacitor to my circuit. You could see the electrons move for a second and then they stop. And I could eventually discharge that. They'll move for a second and then they stop. So if I look at how much current is flowing through that branch that has the capacitor, it's zero. So we still got Kirchhoff's junction rule, nine equals 0.9 equals 0.9 plus zero. But you can see that that charge stops. It's acting like a dam inside that water. And so you can think of a capacitor just like a break in a circuit when we're applying Kirchhoff's junction rule. So if I put a capacitor here, or here, it's going to be a break in that circuit. There's not gonna be any current flowing through that branch of the circuit. And so did you learn to apply Kirchhoff's law? Again, current in is equal to current out. Could you design an investigation? Again, I used a PHET simulation to do that.
Could you use schematics to figure out where the current is? And then finally, as you move into physics too, do you understand how capacitors can act as a break in a circuit? I hope so, and I hope that was helpful.